Before 1905, most films had no inner titles. Their main titles often gave information concerning the basic situation in the simple narratives to come. In 1904, for example, the Lubin Company released A Policeman's Love Affair, a six-shot comedy about a rich woman who catches a policeman wooing her maid and throws a bucket of water on him. In Chapter 1, we saw that Edwin S. Porter's 1903, Uncle Tom's Cabin, used a separate inner title to introduce the situation of each shot. The longer film length standardized during the Nickelodeon era led to an increasing number of inner titles. There were two types of inner titles. Expository titles were initially more common. Their texts were written in the third person, summarizing the upcoming action or simply setting up the situation. A typical one-reeler of 1911, Her Mother's Fiancé, made by Yankee, a small independent, introduced one scene with this title. Home from school. The widow's daughter comes home unexpectedly and surprises her mother. Other expository inner titles were more laconic, like the chapter titles in a book. In a 1911 Vitagraph film, The Inherited Taint, a scene begins with the title, An Engagement Broken. Inner titles could also signal time gaps between scenes. Titles such as The Following Day and One Month Later became common. Filmmakers also sought a type of inner title that could convey narrative information less baldly. Information presented in dialogue titles came from within the story action. Moreover, because films increasingly focus on character psychology, dialogue titles could suggest characters' thoughts more precisely than gestures could. At first, filmmakers were not quite sure where to insert dialogue titles. Some put the title before the shot in which the character delivered the line. Other filmmakers placed a dialogue title in the middle of the shot, just after the character had begun to speak. The latter placement became the norm by 1914, as filmmakers realized that the spectator could better understand the scene if the title coincided with the speech in the image. 